Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, this is Redberry Wheel here and welcome back to another Civil Air Patrol video. In today's video, I'm talking about the journey of flight. And it's an interesting textbook that is very long. And I have been approached by people saying, hey, how did you prepare for the aerospace section of the SPOTS exam? And that would be this. So my technique in order to study for the aerospace portion of the SPOTS exam was <laughs> it was a very tedious process so like you know sometimes you go online and you see that people have posted test questions right it could be for like your intro chemistry class or some kind of math class math is a little bit harder depending on what class it is but like some people just post the exams online if you seek test questions that are probably definitely cap test questions. That's against the rules. You're not supposed to know the question bank, to be fair. And you should not be studying from that resource because you will just memorize the questions and the answers, but you won't actually learn the information. Me, I learned the information and I used a great resource on Quizlet that had very short notes of like pieces of information, like two advantages the Wright brothers had access to knowledge from the people f before them, and lived in a time when first practical power plant was developed. And it's very short bullet points. And the person who put this together also got their spots exam completed and they passed. So they were a prior spots in than I was. But so like 100 BC Chinese invented the kite. And it, it's very short bullet points of like everything that you would need to know. So like this was the, the chapters one through four section. What are my upstairs neighbors doing? And then this was like chapters one, two, three, four, five. Let's keep going. Chapters nine, 10, 18, 19, because you don't need to do the chapters in between those right there. And then the last few chapters that you need to know, 21, 23, 24. And, oh, sorry, there's also 25, 26, and 27. So the, there's so many bullet points on here, if you look at this. And so I circled the ones that I could not just ramble off. So, like, if I said the MC-72... You should be able to think of established a world record for seaplanes of 440 miles per hour. Technically 440, 68 miles per hour. But, like, I didn't immediately know that information when I was first studying. So I circled it. Oops, excuse me. So I first circled it. Right here. Hello? There it is. So if I asked you who's the father of modern aviation, and you didn't immediately go, Otto Lilienthal then that would be something that you'd need to review over and over again. And so I had different people help me study. Like I, I was even studying during IAS where I brought my spot study materials with me just when like we would be on the plane or we would just be sitting around not doing anything. And I would study and I would have people quiz me on this one because this was the hardest part for me. And I will do a video talking a little bit about the character development essay and the approach that I took when I was doing it. But this was really hard. And so if there were things that I just didn't get, I would write tiny notes in the margins. So like, see, like with Cavendish, I was like hydrogen and I circled it just so that I would remember it. Because when you write things with a pen or pencil on paper, that helps you retain the information more, which is why I would circle those. And then I would kind of like be reviewing it a little bit more. And sometimes I would write things down by hand when I would be reviewing as well. I don't have all of that with me anymore because it was multiple pages worth of me just writing stuff down over and over again to try to memorize it. In addition to being quizzed, like my, my mom quizzed me, my friends quizzed me, everyone was quizzing me when I, <laughs> when I would see them, I'd be like, here's my study guide. Pick a random thing on the first three pages for me to say. So when I would be studying, they'd be like, okay, who won the first Pulitzer trophy race? And then I would say, mostly. And I would be able to say at least the last names of each person, if not the full name, and being able to, to ramble that off to people. And I know I'm, I'm being a little bit repetitive here, but the biggest thing is do not just memorize questions. 
You can't just memorize questions. That's never going to work. And that means you can't apply that knowledge. Like if I asked you to teach a class on the Wright brothers and all you remembered was like the two reasons why they were successful or what they had achieved and that's just one thing, then you may not necessarily be able to do that. So by being able to really like in depth memorize dates like associate different pieces of information with like i i would look at like a specific letter in their name and i would try to memorize that with dates and try to be like oh yeah so that c looks like a zero so then that person's name is associated with this and it, it was just weird memorization techniques that i used which actually personally helped me because whenever i would see two words that were associated with each other, then I would be able to pair them up on the test, which allowed me to do well enough to pass on my, my aerospace test. So this is more focused towards cadets who are trying to <laughs> at least get their spots accomplished with the aerospace portion. But if you are a senior member who's watching this, I'm not talking in depth for you guys yet with the journey of light books because there just is so much information and I'm trying to figure out a good way to take each of these bullet points and make it more accessible and understandable and not just a giant page of text because I could I could just read it off and I could I could do that oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, re I remember some of these like I, I haven't done my spots in a, a while it was two years ago now and if you don't review the information all the time, then you forget it. But I studied for six months and then I took it and my brain was just like all of the information. And I, <laughs> I even tried a few failed techniques where I literally tried to make note cards by hand for everything in the Journey of Flight books. And there was just so much information to have. I had a stack about this high with just terms to go through and I did not do it in an effective way that was helping me. So those are some of the techniques that I used in order to memorize all of the information from the journey of flight that you need to know. So that's just a quick summary of the techniques that I had used to study for the aerospace test from the journey of flight book. So if you've got any questions for me, then please feel free to leave it in the comments down below. If you're a senior member and you're about to do your Jaeger, I will be doing some stuff to review aerospace for you. And, and for people who are studying that just want more in-depth videos. But I have not made those yet, so be on the lookout for those. So thank you so much for watching. And that is all, folks. Until next time, doodles.